بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم My name is Amanullah, your social studies teacher. Today, I am going to start my third lecture on same chapter, the climate of South Asia, from social studies for grade six, recap. In previous lecture, we have discussed about two wind system. As you know, there are three main wind system. The southwest monsoon from July to September, which we discussed in lecture one. In lecture two, we have studied about other two main wind systems, which are the western depression from December to March and then north easterly. We have also discussed the map and how these wind system coming to region and from where. Then we have studied about rainfall and how the wind system affect rainfall in Pakistan. How the wind system affect rainfall in Pakistan. We have studied about some important problems which are arid, semi-arid, humid, and high land. We discussed how monsoon rain, which start from July to September, fall mostly on Upper Punjab, especially which cities are in Upper Punjab. I have highlighted it with help of map. Then we have discussed through table about the range of rainfalls which falls on region of Punjab, Balochistan's highlands, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and northern areas. We have also discussed table where region and rainfall were mentioned. Today we are going to learn about cyclones and their types where they come from in Asia, which region of Asia gets most of the cyclones, what is hurricane. We will learn their detail in future slide. We will also discuss the most destructive cyclones from history which came over many regions of Asia how many people it had killed. We will discuss in future slides with help of table. Then we will discuss what are thunderstorms, how they produce, how they affect certain region. Then we will discuss about dust storms, what are they? how they are produced and where they fall mostly. Objectives. After learning these types, students will be able to tell about what are cyclones, where the excess of cyclones come in regions of Asia, and what are thunderstorms and dust storms. Which region of Asia these dust storms are common? Where they come from? Cyclones. Cyclones are basically winds having low atmospheric pressure with movement in clockwise or anti clockwise direction. These winds rotate mostly clockwise in southern hemisphere and anti-clockwise in northern hemisphere. If I am using the term clockwise, it means something which is rotating like the direction of clock. Like you can see on screen this red pointer, I am drawing a wall clock. 
we know ball clock moves its needles in this direction and any circulating things which have such direction we call it clockwise when anything which moves opposite to the direction of clock clock we call it anti clockwise direction so i hope you have understood that cyclones rotates clockwise in southern hemisphere and anti clockwise in northern hemisphere i have explained well in previous lecture what is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere cyclones are also referred as typhoons and hurricanes when cyclone is large rotating storm with a high speed winds that forms over warm water are called hurricanes it is or tropical cyclones now let's discuss the arabian sea arabian sea is basically a part of indian ocean which is on the south near pakistan or you can say arabian sea is near to the southern asia in this map you can see the arabian sea is between southern and western asia this map shows asia continent and its region you can see this marked area is central asia which which covers kazakhstan turkmenistan uzbekistan tajikistan etc and iraq iran turkey saudi arabia yemen dubai are in western asia because they lie near west to so these regions are known as western asia this area is eastern asia where china north korea south korea and japan are located and this 77% of russian federation is in asia known as northern asia you can also see europe and africa in this map both of continents are separated by mediterranean sea so i have explained most of the map now i hope you understood where is arabian sea and other region of asia let's discuss some other terms which are used in cyclone topics one of them is coast coast is also known as coast line or seashore coast line is basically the boundary which separates the land and sea or ocean you can see in this figure this is the boundary line one side of it it sea and the other is land that boundary is called coast or coast line now let's discuss the cyclones in asia recent cyclones which asian region have received are these i have highlighted i have taken them from newspaper as you can see in bangladesh and eastern asia on may 20 both of region received cyclones due to change in climate these cyclones are formed in indian ocean 
there are some factors here which tells how these cyclones become more powerful. When the temperature of sea surface increases, it makes cyclones more powerful. When the sea level arises, it makes higher storm. It was also mentioned in paper that high temperature also leads to the formation of cyclones much faster. Now let's discuss which region receive greater cyclones in this map. This is Arabian Sea, where most of the cyclones are formed due to high temperature on the surface of water. Then it moves from Arabian Sea and reaches at the coastline of India. Pakistan receives very less cyclones. If we see the history, Pakistan is not prone to cyclone, although in 1945, a cyclone over the Arabian Sea hit the Makran coast and caused a lot of damage. But India and its coastline receives very large amount of cyclones. You can see a map. This is the coastline of India. Bay of Bengal is another spot where cyclones hit and creates a lot of damage. So we can see cyclones which are formed in Arabian Sea hit mostly India and, India and Bangladesh. These countries suffer a lot of damage due to it. Now let's discuss type of cyclone systems. Low cyclones are those who have speed 8 km per second and height two to four kilometers. With width 150 to 300 kilometers. And they have rainfall from five to 10 centimeter. Such cyclones are low cyclones. Then there is an other kind, which is depression. Its speed is 8 to 17 meter per second, with height 4 to 8 kilometer. They stay for 2 to 5 days. Similarly, with 250 to 500 kilometer, and bring rainfall 10 to 20 centimeter. Then there is an other type of cyclone, which we call storm. They have speed 17 to 32 meter per second, with height 8 to 10 kilometer, and stays for 3 to 10 days. They have width 300 to 600 kilometer. Another kind, which is hurricane, they have speed greater than 32 meter per second and height from 10 to 12 kilometer. They stay for five to seven days.
Here is a research report from a news from a researcher. Greg, I have taken only main points from his research report. He tells cyclones have low atmospheric pressure at ground in South Asia. Most tropical storms which are intense or called hurricane. He mentioned also that low cyclones are most frequent in India, which bring most of rainfall. When long series of deep tropical depressions occur, which last for two to four weeks, they lead to flooding, dam collapse, and land sliding. He mentioned from history that in Southern Bangladesh, more than 100 families were washed away. When a dam collapsed in July 2004, in summer 2008, monsoon flooding and landsliding killed 1,065 people and affected 7.9 million people. The most powerful hurricanes can reach 2 to 5 meter. Is it meter? The most powerful hurricanes can reach two to five meters in height along eastern coast of Andhra Pradesh in India, which kill many people. In history, the most tropical cyclones which received Pakistan they are actually highest recorded cyclones. First, highest recorded is, is 370 millimeter or 14.57 inches in 2010 at Gwadar. Second, most is 285 millimeter in 1999 at Shabandar. And third is 245 millimeter in 2009 in Karachi. Then fourth, 191 millimeter in 2007 at Karachi. Fifth, 145 millimeter, 5.71 inches at Tata in 2004. Sixth, 110 millimeter in 2007 at Karachi. The seventh was 1.69 inches in 2007 at Karachi. Then eighth, most is 0 0.70 inches in 2009 in Karachi. Now, here is a list of most destructive hurricanes from history. At Bengal, now Bangladesh, on 7 October 1737, it killed 3 lakhs people. Again in Bangladesh, on 13 November 1970, killed 5 lakh people. At West Bengal, on 29 April, 1991, it killed 1,40,000 people. Now let's discuss the main points. Cyclones began in Arabia Sea, comes towards land, but Pakistan does not suffer frequently by cyclones. 
Pakistan coast lines are only suffered by it. And Bangladesh is severely suffered by cyclones. Tropical cyclones mostly occur in May, June, and after monsoon in September to October. Next topic is thunderstorm. It is also known as lightning or electrical storm. You have seen it frequently here is an image of thunderstorms. They are very common in northern areas of Pakistan and northern Punjab. They are combinations of strong gales by rain. Dust storms. A dust storm is storms of small particle of sand and dirt. Dust storms happen when a strong wind blows over loose sand. Let's discuss the dust storms from history. Here is a map. You can see dust storms in 2018. It's Turkmenistan, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. What kind of damage these dust storms cause? They affect agriculture, mean damage the crops, arming, livestock, cause erosion, reduce land, nutrients, and also water holding capacity. They, re they reduce visibility to zero sometime means we cannot see anything in that area where there is dust storm. This is an image of recent dust storm in Karachi on 4th June 2020. Here are some questions for you. Number one, what are cyclones? Number two, which region of Asia receive most of the cyclones? Number three, strong gales followed by heavy rain result in? Number four, which storms are common in upper Sin and parts of Balochistan? I hope all of you can solve these questions, which I have explained well. Here is a note for you. Now our lecture is completed. I hope you will take much interest in your studies. As you know, hard work is key to success. Okay, Allah Hafiz.